Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. So today's video, as you can see from the title, is going to be a Topshop haul and I've recently gone a bit spend happy in Topshop and just bought a few little bits and pieces which I thought would really help to fill up my wardrobe for the summer months because if you have seen anything of me before or if you haven't, I'm not a very like summery person. I live in jumpers and jeans and that kind of thing and this year I really wanted to branch out and just invest into more kind of dresses and play suits and shorts and that kind of thing and really make sure that my wardrobe is like just full of stuff that I actually wear. There is a whole video coming where I completely clean through my entire wardrobe, try loads of stuff on and get really honest with myself about what does and doesn't fit or what does and doesn't suit me. Anyway, I'm gonna jump straight in to the video and first up share with you the two jewelry pieces that I got because I tend to not really buy jewelry and it's something that I wanna change because there's so many beautiful pieces around, whether that's on the high street or from designer brands and I'm trying to kind of bulk out my jewelry collection at the moment because I do just wear like the same few pieces and repeat a lot. So I got two little bits. The first is this one, which I'll admit, I didn't realize was this chunky when I first bought it and I thought it would be quite nice to layer up with other necklaces, but it is very chunky and it is a choker. So I think it's gonna be a bit much. I don't, I mean, it's only taped on, so I technically could try it, but it's got a cable tie. It, I don't know, it's one of those things that I'm gonna kind of see what I think because I think lengthwise it'll probably be like here and I don't necessarily know how that's going to work with other necklaces in my collection so we're going to see and then the other one I bought is a silver one because I do flip between silver and gold jewellery I have a collection of both and I wear both quite often so I thought I'd just mix and match and get like a little bit of both and I don't really own many silver necklaces so I bought this one which I don't know if it's three necklaces in one, like I can't really see from the back whether it's just one, no, I think it is three individuals. It looks like it's three clasps. But either way, I thought they were really nice, really delicate, um, obviously layered necklaces. So you've got a little coin one, you've got this little tea bar and then you've got just the classic chain there as well. And they're just really good for layering. So I thought I'd pick that up and I think they were about 10 pounds to 15 pounds each. I can't really remember because they don't have prices on the back of them, but I'll leave everything in the description box down below for you to get prices and stuff if you want them. But moving on to the rail, as you can see, there's quite a variety of things. So we've got some tops, we've got some dresses, we've got some shorts, we've got like various bits and pieces. And first and foremost is this dress, which I actually saw on a friend, Charlotte, who I will leave a link down below because her channel and her Instagram are fab she's great at outfit styling and kind of doing ways to style videos and stuff so definitely one to check out if you are I mean I feel like I have kind of a similar style to her but she's a lot more fashionable so you'll probably love her videos but this one is such a gorgeous dress and it's just like a little puff sleeve sheared number which was only £15 in the sale which is why I picked it up it does also come in white and the original price is £25 so I'll obviously leave it linked I'm not sure if it's still going to be on offer or not but £25 is still a pretty good price because it's a really nice like thick cotton like material and it's super flattering on so definitely think it's one that I'd get a lot of wear out of especially because you can dress it up or down you could wear this with trainers or look like sandals or something and it's very like multi-purpose and like versatile for your wardrobe I actually got this oh that I got in a size 8 which is true to my size that's the size I always wear this one I actually picked up I think in a 14 because, yeah a 14 and it was 16 pounds but the reason being is because there was no other sizes left it does look like it's not going to be as loose as I thought it would be but it's a really cute style so it's just like a lemon yellow ribbed cropped jumper with the little lace detailing here it does come in a few different colors but I can't remember what they were I think there was maybe like a lilac and a black or something but I went for the lemon yellow because I thought I'd brighten up my wardrobe and try my hand at a few pastels because they're something I've never really worn before and it's definitely something I want to get into because pastels come back year after year and they're really easy to wear so I thought do you know what I'm just gonna give them a go and rather than going like full on like bright greens and lilacs and stuff I'll go nice and subtle with a little bit of yellow which is always a tricky one when you have blonde hair I think because everyone always worries that it'll really clash but I think when you go like soft kind of lemon pastels then they work really well and then next up we have this which is a really gorgeous swimsuit which I've seen has been making the rounds on Instagram and it's so so cute so I'm a bit of a lover of swimsuits because I think when you're traveling or you're in just general summer it's really nice to have a swimsuit because you can wear it as a top as well as like an actual swimsuit and I'm just personally a lover of swimsuits because I think they're a great way to have a top for summer as well as like a, obviously a swimsuit so if you are traveling or you're on holiday it's really easy to just pop one of these on and you've got a really versatile piece so this one is a really gorgeous scalloped kind of pastely pink with the ribbed texture really really flattering with the square neckline and then it's got this 
low back as well. It was £26 and it's this is a size 8 but I should have sized down so I'm actually going to be switching this because these straps are quite long and I find it's almost like a little bit too big around the like bust chest area so I'm going to be switching it for a 6 but even so it's really really cute, it's really flattering, it's not too like small on the bum but it's also not too big like it's the right amount of coverage which i think is really important at the moment because every swimsuit or swim like bikini seems to be very like either an actual thong or like really full coverage and i like when it's kind of like a good mix between the two so i really like that and like i said when i swap the size i'll definitely be keeping it because it is such a gorgeous style and i think if you are someone with a bit of a bigger boob I mean, if you've got any boob, I just don't have any. If you've got any boob, it'll be fine. But if you are like me and don't really have anything, then I'd say definitely to size down. Then next up, we have these linen shorts, which are a paper bag style with the little pockets. These pockets are actually fake, which really irritates me because I actually thought they were real. But even so, it's really cute. So they've got this like faux zip bit at the front and they are just elasticated kind of paper bag style in the white linen. And the one thing I really love about these is they're double lined. So obviously they're really thick. There's no chance you're gonna see like nude undies or outlines or anything through them. And they're just, again, really easy to style for summer. And I love wearing shorts like this with like a nice cami or a ribbed bodysuit or something and a blazer with like some nice little espadrilles because it's such a good outfit for just kind of styling them up. But also they're really lightweight and really easy to wear on the beach or just generally like out and about during summer. These were 29 pounds and I got them in a six and honestly they just look like they're going to be so 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 comfy and I did actually used to have a pair of linen shorts which have disappeared out of my life I don't know what's happened to them I don't know if they've accidentally ended up in like a charity bag or if I've got them hidden in a cupboard somewhere and I can't find them I don't know but I did have a really gorgeous pair of linen shorts from H&M last year that I wore all the time and I'm desperate to replace which is kind of why I got those then we have a dress which is kind of out of my comfort zone but that's something I'm really trying to challenge recently and get out of my comfort zone try new things and just see what works so this is a really gorgeous pale yellow again but a lot softer pastel and it's got this really gorgeous floral design on with the kind of ruffled bit here you've got the puff sleeves which are double lined and it's just a really nice like thick mini dress because it's got like that really nice kind of texture to it where it's bodycon but it doesn't show every lump and bump like it just kind of smooths you over which is great um, on the back it's got zip to get you in and it's also got the little tie here and it's a really beautiful style which I absolutely love. The only thing I will say is that it is a tiny bit long on me so I'd probably take it up a bit but I am 5 foot 3 so if you're taller or you have boob obviously it gets a little bit shorter so I'd recommend getting true to size and trying it and seeing what you think. This one is a size 8 and it was £35 which is such a good price for a dress that I think I would wear kind of year upon year because it is such a beautiful style. And they also had it, I think, in... There was, like, a plain colour and a print. And I can't remember what they were. I want to say it was, like, a black floral and maybe a plain black or plain white or something like that but I personally just really liked the kind of pale yellow textured one okay then next up we have this top which I think is possibly the cutest thing in the entire world 19 pounds and again in a size 8 but it's just a really nice tie front little cropped number with the long sleeves that are kind of like a balloon style it's almost like a linen fabric but not I don't really know what the fabric is but it feels really nice it's really thick and it's a really pretty style to wear with like some nice trousers or a skirt or whatever you feel like wearing on the bottom will pretty much go with this. I actually styled it with jeans the other day to try it on and it looked really great but obviously there is a million other ways that you could wear it too and I think it's such a good price for a top like this because where it's like more of like a fashion top it is still something I'd wear year upon year but I think when it's something that's maybe slightly more trend focused than like a more capsule like re-wearable piece. £19 is a really good price, especially for Topshop when their prices tend to be a little bit higher. Then we have this top which actually came in white and I believe blue. So this one's £14.99 and again I got in an 8. Very much a kind of trend led top with the sheared body here. You've got the little like frill detail at the bottom and the huge puff sleeves but also it's got a really nice square neckline which I absolutely love because I think it's really flattering again. I, I don't know what it is about square necklines. They're having a bit of a moment this year and I just think they look so great. I think I'd personally wear it with like a nice bit of white denim or maybe like my linen shorts or something. Like that could be quite a cute outfit. I definitely think I'm gonna be going and getting this in white because having had it in pink, I can vouch for the fact that it's really good quality and it is a stunning top. So I would 100% purchase a different colorway because that's what I like to do. If I find something I like, I buy it in every color and I just stick to what I know. <laughs> Um, next up we have two gingham pieces which are slightly different but kind of 
in the same realm gingham's a great print if you like to wear plain things and want to kind of venture into the world of like prints and patterns i think gingham's just a great place to start especially when it's like houndstooth or like blazers and stuff this is just a really easy classic i know that houndstooth is technically a different print but what i mean is like the black and white check kind of style is just an easy way into it these shorts are great they also came in a lemon yellow but i just thought i'd pick up the black because it's a bit more classic they're really nice little elasticated waist with the pockets little frill hem and super super cute they do also have a matching top which i didn't get because i thought these kind of thing i would wear with a bodysuit or a t-shirt and tie it or a blazer and like there's a million ways i could probably wear these so these are a size 8 and they cost 22 pounds which i think is such a great price when you're looking at a short that would be really easy to kind of bring out year upon year in summer they're the kind of thing i'd always pack if i'm going on like a beach break or generally just for like just summer wear like if i had a garden i'd probably live in these and a little t-shirt but obviously we don't have a garden but even so i would wear these a lot i think it, off the top of my head one of the outfits i'd probably wear the most would be like my cream espadrilles with a white t-shirt and a black blazer because i think that would be a really nice way to kind of smarten them up a little bit then next up we have this gingham dress which is one that I was kind of on the fence about whether I'd like it or not, and I absolutely adore it. So it's a really nice kind of navy gingham, which I actually thought it was black originally, but it is like a really nice kind of... It's actually quite a light navy, to be honest. So we've got the little puff sleeves here, which are really cute. You've got the tight-fitted body, and then obviously the midi kind of floaty bit this did actually come in a shorter version as well yeah it's a really gorgeous style it's got a really pretty lace-up detailing at the back with the little tie on the neck and it also has a zip to help you get in which i think is so handy because otherwise i genuinely don't know how you'd get into this and the one thing that kind of sold me was the fact it has pockets like dresses with pockets is just an absolute game changer i don't know about everyone else but i personally absolutely love them and i'd probably wear this into like autumn and spring as well it wouldn't just be like a summer dress for me it would look great with little boots and a jacket or like trainers or whatever and there's just so many ways you can style it for so many different occasions then next up we've got this shirt which is actually now sold out and i have been wearing it because it's so comfortable so it's like a double layered like kind of cottony fabric really really nice on and it's just a really big slouchy fit so i got this in an eight and it is quite big on me but it looks so nice when you just tuck it into some shorts some jeans and just chuck on like some birkenstocks or whatever it's just a really easy shirt and i think it's one of those things that can be styled up or down very simply it did also come in a blue and white stripe and also a pale pink which i actually really want to go back and get the pale pink because it's such a beautiful color it's kind of like this kind of shade but a bit lighter and i believe it was around 29 pounds which again such such a good price for such a cute shirt it's got a little scallop hem on the sleeves and honestly i could talk about this for ages because this is just one of my favorite things that i got in this whole haul because it's just so soft and so comfortable and i really hope that it washes well because it's just such a gorgeous shirt that i know will be such a staple in my wardrobe and will keep coming out because i don't really own shirts and that's a really good one to kind of start with and i wish it came in white because i'd buy that too and then last but not least is these denim shorts which are kind of like a mum fit they did have a billion other colors there was like a darker blue a black i think there was like a gray there was a white there was loads of different colors but this was the only one that was actually in my size and this is the color that i needed to replace in my wardrobe because i have a pair from zara last year which no longer fit me so i replaced them with these ones which are just a really nice style i like that they've got the kind of darting detailing here which is a bit flattering on um, I actually fold them up one more when I wear them just for preference I like how they look but they do also look great as kind of the mum style and they were only like £29 or something they were really affordable I want to say they were probably even less than that but they're such a gorgeous short and I think it's great to have loads of like ripped denim and stuff in your wardrobe but it's also really important to have like plain denim shorts that are just like a classic plain fit and to be honest a lot of the ones I used to have when I was a bit younger are very short very tight and that's just not me anymore that's not the styles I wear so I wanted something a little bit looser and a little bit more comfortable okay I've actually just realized I threw the thing off the hanger and it was on my chair and I forgot to talk about what it was when I did the swimsuit but it was actually just this little bodysuit which is a ribbed lace neck bodysuit from Topshop obviously this one was 14 pounds and i thought it was just a really cute one to add to my little growing collection because i love anything with a kind of lacy neckline and it's just really cute it's really flattering on and it's very very adorable but that is everything i got from topshop this time and i really hope you liked seeing the kind of mix of things that i'm getting i'm actually really enjoying experimenting with my wardrobe a little bit and i think 
being in lockdown has given me so much more time to kind of go through my wardrobe and see what I wear and see what I don't need and really kind of work out my personal style which sounds really silly because we are stuck in the house but I've noticed that I'm kind of really looking at my wardrobe and really looking at my clothes and it's something that I probably wouldn't have done in as much detail had I been able to leave the house because I'd have been so distracted by other things um so it's really made me kind of evaluate everything that I've got and really just hone in on what my style is and what I like I've got Pinterest boards you know the full works but a lot of this is going to be probably coming up on my Instagram and stuff in the next few days I'm sure and I just really like everything so I'd say it's probably more than likely all staying obviously apart from the size switch on the swimsuit and potentially the size switch on this if you've got it in my size now the swimsuit's fallen off the hanger so on that note I'm going to end this video and thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to leave me a comment telling me what your favorite thing from this haul was give it a thumbs up and a like and all that kind of stuff because it means a lot to me and it really helps creators to have some feedback on like likes and dislikes and stuff because it helps with the algorithm but I hope you like this video guys and I'll see you in my next one <laughs>